Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today we are starting a series where I am taking some of my favorite things to upcycle, combining them all together to make the most amazing summer wardrobe. And today we're making the most amazing layered midi length skirt. And you don't want to miss the rest of this series. So definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, let's do it. Okay, so when I go to the thrift store, there are certain things that I see that I just feel like they're going to be a good upcycle. It could be because of the pattern or color like these two men's dress shirts or these two polka dot dresses. Or it could be something that you just know you'll need one day, like this slip. Or maybe it's just something that was gifted to you by your mom and a bag full of random belts from a garage sale. At any rate, I'm going to use them all all today yes all of them okay so first let's cut some layers for our ruffles i'll lay the shirts flat and mark a line eight inches above the hem i'll also mark a line that's 16 inches above the hem then i'll cut along both those lines and i did the same thing for both shirts and next week i'll show you what to do with the top part of that shirt that we're not using today Okay, so next I'll basically do the same thing for the dresses. Now the dress was a little bit more difficult to cut because it's a circle skirt, but I just followed the hem. And I did that for both dresses. Next, I'll take each long strip that I cut and double fold hem one edge, if it didn't already have a hem side. Then I loosen my thread tension and lengthen my stitch length all the way, just so I gather and stitch on the other side of the strips. On that side, I serge the edges because they'll be covered, but if you don't have a serger, just double fold hem that side as well. And this goes for the strips that I made from the dress as well. Next, I took the slip in on the sides to make it fit my hips better, and I'll cut away the excess fabric and cut across the top. Next, I'll take my layers and figure out what kind of crazy pattern I want. You could also do this by painting the layers to the slip right on your body. Since the slip is stretchy, this method is preferable. Once you figure out your layer layout and pin them to the skirt, you can sew them down. Now we need a waistband. I'll put the belt on and add a pin next to the belt buckle on both sides of the belt, just to see how far around that last ruffle should go. Then I'll pin my last layer to the belt and sew it down. Next, I'll sew the belt to the slip at the top, leaving a part of the stretchy slip unsewn in the front so that I can get in and out of it. Then I'll fold the slip under and sew it at the bottom of the belt. Then I'll cut away the excess to the slip. Optimally, you would hem or serge this, but it's not going to ravel, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. And that's it. I love this skirt, and I think it's just the beginning of something amazing. This skirt is so amazing that a top to match is awesome. This did not exist in my wardrobe, so I had to create it. But you'll see more on that next week. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. And as this series unfolds, you'll be able to watch more in this playlist. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.